Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. How's it going? Today is day number 11 of this trailer renovation build. The build keeps on going and we just keep on rolling with it. Whew. So come along with us today. We got a lot of work to do and uh, it's a beautiful day. So let's do it. Let's do it. Alrighty, you guys, so as you saw on our day 10 trailer renovation, we actually closed in the trailer. We got the insulation in there, we got the wiring in there, we got the hot water heater in there, we got all the plumbing in there, the we got the flooring in there, we got it fully closed in to where we can turn on the AC and actually work on the ship lap. I can't wait. <sighs> So, before we get into all of that, I want to say a huge thank you to you guys that actually purchased our shirts. Oh, it was mind-boggling to me because we've never used Bonfire. We never created any shirts or anything like that. And you had to sell 11 of them. Yep. And we ended up selling 18 of them. So, it's awesome. I, to see that support and to see you guys showing it all the time, we really appreciate it. And we love you guys from the bottom of our heart. And we thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. If you did purchase one of our Squirrel Brain t-shirts, send us your selfie. You guys can do so in the link down below. I got my email address in the description. You guys are more than welcome to just go ahead and send me the picture through there. Or if Instagram is easier for you guys, sending me a PM on Instagram. The handle is the same. It's just at Simple Life Reclaimed. Send us your selfie because I got something in my squirrel brain working. <laughs> I want to show you guys how much we appreciate you guys. And I want to put you guys on our channel as a big thank you for showing your support. So thank you guys again so, so much. And let's get to work on the shiplap. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right, so today, Gary's letting me use the power tools. My wife is doing all the work and I'm standing behind the camera. I'm hoping that we can both be good at both things. That'd be awesome. You can call me stupid. You can call me sheep. You can say I may You can say I will. You think that using I would get to me. Perfect. When it comes to her, you better keep it sealed. Don't you dare say a single word, or I will strike you where it feels. You think that using her would get to me, and if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I won't break, no, I know I won't wait. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let me help me get this guy in real quick. you guys well that's all we got for today's video on day number 11 um, we have got a lot done we're not done yet with the shiplap we're gonna continue on the shiplap on day 12 which you guys are gonna see here in just a minute we're gonna smash these videos together and complete this project for you so this ended up being a two-day project but that's okay sometimes it's how it goes yeah it was a lot of ripping the four by eight sheet of wood and I'm so thankful that my wife was able to do it and got it all squared away and done right and everything so that was a lot of tedious work just to get it to where we're able to do it and we got this wall done completely yep. so now it's just working on this side wall over here and then the back, the back wall. wall so stay tuned we're gonna give you day 12 right now Alrighty, you guys. Well, today is day 12 on this trailer reno build. As you guys saw, we just kind of abruptly stopped yesterday on day 11. We had to go deal with the kids, make dinner and all that stuff. And we just kind of got abruptly stopped in that. So we're continuing on today and we're going to continue on with this ship lapping and whatnot. So before we do that, um, we did read some of the comments from day 10 and you guys had suggested that we show you guys that the brake lights work before we completely close it in. So let's show you guys that real quick. Alright, so I'm going to test out the brake lights and everything since I've got the electrical. A lot of you guys said, hey, why didn't you guys test it? We screw that one up. <laughs> so I'm going to test it real quick. I'm going to plug this guy in. Got my plug down here. Uh. Alright, you want to go to the back? Yep. Yes. Close up one more blanket. Yes. Right now? Yes. Okay. We got the brake lights working and everything, so that's a huge plus, right? Yeah, and the hazard lights work, so that's good. Yep, so we're going to get the um, 
water hooked up and check all the plumbing. So let's do that real quick. Alrighty, you guys. So I was just about to hook up the water and I came back here and triple checked everything, all the fittings and everything just before I hooked up the water. And my hot water tank itself actually had a break at the fitting. So <laughs> my hot water outlet it broke right at the fitting, right at the actual thing. I've got quite a bit of plastic of the fitting in here still. So I'm going to have to borrow my dad's actual pipe remover for like sprinkler heads and everything. Just to get this little piece out. I don't have one unfortunately. We live in the desert. So I'm hoping that he has one. And if not, it looks like I'm going to end up having to buy one. But I'm definitely going to have to go buy a new fitting before I can even test out the water. I don't want any water damage in this trailer whatsoever. I mean, I just fixed it. So that's, that's definitely something I do not want right now. Um, so I'm going to have to buy a new pressure release valve for my actual hot water heater. And replace that guy. And then test it and see what's all going on. Make sure that there's no other leaks. So I'm glad that you guys suggested for me to test everything out and triple check everything. Because when I did today, this guy was busted. I don't know what happened. I don't know if somebody leaned on it. A tool got dropped on it. Kid came in here. Something. I might have even bumped into it. I have no idea. So, I'm hoping that uh, it will be fine. And we'll be able to replace this. And it's not going to be a part that's going to take me forever to find. Once I do get the part, it's only like a two minute fix. So, bummer. This sucks. Alright, so as you guys can see, the brake lights and everything work. We did run into the issue with the hot water heater. We're going to fix that on probably the next video that you guys see with the continuation of the trailer build. But for now, and for today, and for this video, we're going to continue on with the ship lapping and get that going. So Gary's going to show you guys how he's been doing some of the intricate cuts around the wheel wells and the windows and stuff like that because we didn't really show that. Uh, previously so we're gonna show you guys some of that now and then we will continue on working on the ship lap yep so let's do it all right so for ripping the boards we were using other boards that as a guide and we were measuring a little bit more so that way we can account for the actual side of the circular saw as well as the blade so basically that little tiny bit is an inch and an eighth what I'm doing right now is I want to make a border for the top I want to make it sort of come off from the kitchen countertop and where it's at. So this one's going to be a little bit of a different piece than the regular six inch, which this one is only going to be an inch. So with that inch and an eighth, it makes it to where I've got to mark it at two and an eighth. Uh, attach this board and actually get it to where I'm able to rip that board. So let me get that measured out, get this cut, and I'll show you the crazier intricate cuts per se. Now, got that on the edge. So this one inch cut, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue the little curve coming down into the window well area. I measured what the depth was into the actual board. So I made a straight line across on my actual shiplap board, and then I measured how far it was to that point, what the actual full length was, and what the actual point was from there. As well as I measured the bottom length. You can see that I had 30 inches right there, 19 inches right there. So it was quite a bit of a difference. I just marked it through a straight line, and then I freehand where the curve was going to be. Yes, I freehand it. I wish I could have that little orange doohickey that pops up in the ads every now and then that you can just push right up to it and it will get a good little trace of it. But yeah, I don't have that. I want to get it. <laughs> but I just freehand it. I'll show you where or how that looks and everything like that when we get back into the trailer. But I've got to cut these two pieces and then I've got to cut the bottom one as well as this last one. And these are the, that's the only straight one really out of this whole side wall. And then I've got to do the little well when it comes down to it. So show you that whole process. First, I've got to rip this board to get into my one inch and get those going as well as keep on going down the line and cut all these and then we'll bring them in, attach them and get my measurements from there. All right, you ready? Okay. I've got my 
two trim pieces. Now, this guy is 26 inches this way. So, what we do, mark it right there. This piece is 15 and a quarter this way. So now I make a line from edge. Yeah, I can get this to be straight. Okay. Edge to edge. This is the measurements for the trailer that's in there right now. So edge to edge. And this is arcing a little bit down. So I'm just going to freehand a little bit of a curve freehand a little bit of a curve okay and that's my curve that I'm gonna go with this is a small piece of wood so shouldn't be too crazy alright so basically I don't have a uh, rotary saw or a jigsaw or anything that I can actually cut this curve with it. I'm using my circular saw. Let me show you how I'm doing this. This is just press board. So I'm basically just going to use the circular saw to sort of round it in a sense. So first what I'm going to do is cut that line. being rounded like that and it being press board and me using 80 grit sandpaper <laughs> I'm able to really get it rounded off and good so good enough because what I'm going to do is cock all the edges and everything and make the cocking finish up the round. So let me do the rest of this guy. A little tiny bit. One piece. Go to the next. So this is one of the one inch pieces that I was going to make to where it was going to be the break from this size to the actual, this wall itself. So this is the break. It's going to continue off from the actual kitchen counter and coming over to the window as well as I've got the other one right in this area per se. So it will continue, look nice, and it will be a half wall of shiplap. And then test this other piece I cut out because I don't like trying to glue it and then try to put it in so I actually test all right that piece is gonna be nice right there
All right, so where my wheel well is, I've got to make a curve, and I'm going to do that freehand. It's pretty much straight about four inches in. The depth that I've got is about two and a half inches. So I've got to get where the actual point is, where the curve's going to start, as where the curve is going to end on the board. So I've got those me measurements out. Um, what I'm going to do is now draw a straight line so I have a, an idea of what it's going to be. A straight point to point. Now I've got to put my curve in there. So I'm literally doing this by freehand, which yes, I could get a cardboard cutout and do it. So now I've got to cut that circle per se out. So this is how I'm going to do it. This is where I really wish I had certain tools because it would make it so much easier and so much nicer. But I'm sort of uh, on halt with money in the sense of buying new tools, new things, use what I got and get the job done with what I've got right now. So if I don't have to go buy it and I can do this, I'm going to do this. This is what I do. Work with what I got. So that's going to be the straight portion and then it's going to start curving. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut it straight, get this piece off so that way I'm working with just that little circle area right there. So let me get that done real quick. All right, now that I've got that, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep coming in at it until I'm getting basically little pieces left and I can come in with the blade and sort of carve off the rest of it. I'm using the circular blade as like basically smoothing it out from one side and then I've got to smooth it out the rest of the way with the actual sander. So let's see. As you can see, I came at it like that. Now I'm going to come back and smooth it out and let the blade sort of eat it up and smooth it out a little bit. Now, you can start to see it somewhat shape. I'll get this paint off real quick and you'll see that curve. Let me show you. You can see the curve now. Now I'm left with a little bit more of a lip, so I'm going to come in and smooth it out. Let's get her going. And there's my free hand. I think that looks pretty good for uh, the, wheel, the wheel well. What do you think? Only one way to really see, I guess, huh? Heck yeah, that looks like it lines up perfectly right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get this sidewalk done.
looks good. Now we gotta do this wall. Yeah. Here was the freehand cut that Gary did and I like it. We're gonna still have to caulk in everything, as you can tell. Um, we did some caulking up here, but I only have like another tube and a half left of the caulking. So, and we still gotta do this whole wall. We're gonna start working on this back wall now. Stuck in the mud Let's pack up a life, baby And call it a night Cause the longer we stay here The harder the fight I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Call it a start By leaving behind what's breaking our hearts I said, hey the past goodbye I'm longing to live this free life I've been hearing about You will see us howling like wolves in the night Cause nothing is stronger than wanting what you might get I said hey yeah 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 call it a start by leaving behind what's breaking our hearts I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Follow the spark Ain't nothing but a one way Well, that's a weird funky piece. Nice job cutting, Gary. 
I'm trying to get her done. You are. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Be done with her before you know it. Well, the ship lap is in. How do you like it? I really like it, man. It it came out really good. A lot of these intricate cuts that I had to do again was you were really uh, good with it. Really nice. I'm surprised on how well the freehand came out, but you did an awesome job. It's not the first time, unfortunately, doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so all that's left for us to do for now is we still got to go through and do all the caulking in between each plank and we ran out of caulking so we need to go to the store we're probably going to do that tomorrow pick up a few more supplies we'll get the caulking we'll get the piece for that hot water heater and whatever other things that we can think of to get this part completely done and then we will officially be back at square one so gary and i have been discussing uh, different ideas on how we're going to be building the furniture and stuff in here so stay tuned for that that is coming probably within the next video or two so we got some big plans and we're really excited to finally be at this point. It feels so good, you guys. All this work this whole time, it feels great. Yeah, I can actually see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. I'm really happy about that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it was really dark and really glooming and it just kept like going Getting darker, darker, and darker and darker. I was like, I'm stuck in a black hole. I can't get out of this hole. What the heck? That's all right. I can see the light now. <laughs> so we're going to finish working on this trailer. We're going to get it all caulked in and stuff. And then this weekend, Gary and I deserve a break. So we're going to be taking a break, taking a family trip. You guys will see that video coming out soon as well. But I feel like we earned it. So we're definitely going to go and take a nice trip this weekend and enjoy some family time and enjoy the kiddos and all that good stuff. Yeah. So... So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's been one ship lapping day. Yes, that's for sure. Ship lapping two days. Ship lapping two days. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> the first day was tedious because we had to do all the all ripping the and all the sanding immediately and everything, and that was just long and tedious. We know that we make when I do the editing, I make it look really fast and really easy and stuff like that. But it took a lot of time, several hours, to go ahead and do all of that work. So. Yeah, you guys get the pleasure of watching it in like 30 seconds. <laughs> I wish I could be you guys. Doing it in 30 seconds. Exactly. And just be like, oh, that was quick and easy. It's done. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> So we really hope that you guys have enjoyed this trailer renovation series. We are far from completely done yet. We're just basically back to square one. So I hope you guys enjoy the continuation of the trailer build series. 
And as, you know, things progress, we'll keep you guys updated and bring you guys along. But I hope you guys enjoy the, the series. Hope you guys enjoy the channel. Um, if you guys have not yet subscribed to our channel, hit that subscribe button right there in the corner. It's free. You don't cost nothing. And uh, if you guys like our videos, make sure to like the videos. We love hearing from you guys. We always try to respond to your comments, so drop them down below, and we'll be seeing you guys very shortly. Yep, so we'll catch you guys on the next one, and we hope you have a good one. Bye, bye you guys. Later, later. Babe, the ship lap is done. Yes. Well, cocking. <laughs> You're ruining it! <laughs> you know what was really nice? We worked in the AC today. Yes, this is true. We worked in the AC for the we most part. We weren't sweating our butts off. Except for when I had to cut all this. I know, the garage, but I'm just saying. The I was trying to be optimistic here. Yeah, you already ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I think you did a good job. You, you did a good job too, baby. Thanks. I appreciate that. Alright, let's go have some dinner and get out of here. Do it. Dinner. 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 Food. Uh, let's go.